Welcome to our channel. In this video, we will be discussing on the topic Kellogg's brand company. Kellanova formerly known as the Kellogg Company, an American multinational food manufacturing company headquartered in Chicago, Illinois, United States. Kellogg's produces cereal outside North America and convenience foods, including crackers and toaster pastries and markets their products by several well-known brands including the Kellogg's brand itself, Rice Krispies Treats, Pringles, Egga, and Cheez-It, along with cereal internationally such as Corn Flakes, Rice Krispies, Frosties and Cocoa Pops. Kellogg's products are manufactured and marketed in over 180 countries. Kellogg's largest factory is at Trafford Park in Trafford, Greater Manchester, United Kingdom, which is also the location of its UK headquarters. Other corporate office locations outside of Battle Creek include Chicago, Dublin European headquarters, Shanghai, and Quartaro City. Kellogg's held a royal warrant from Queen Elizabeth II until her death in 2022. Kellogg's was split into two companies on October 2, 2023, with Week Kellogg co-owning the North American cereal division, and the existing company being rebranded to Kellanova owning brands such as Pop, Tarts and Pringles alongside the International Cereal Division. Kellogg's itself would become a brand name of both companies. In 1876, John Harvey Kellogg became the superintendent of the Battle Creek Sanitarium, originally the Western Health Reform Institute founded by Ellen White and his brother, W. K. Kellogg, worked as the bookkeeper. This is where corn flakes were created and led to the eventual formation of the Kellogg Company. For years, W.K. Kellogg assisted his brother in research to improve the vegetarian diet of the Battle Creek Sanitarium's patients, especially in the search for wheat-based granola. The Kellogg's are best known for the invention of the famous breakfast cereal corn flakes. The development of the flaked cereal in 1894 has been variously described by those involved. Ella Eden Kellogg, John Harvey Kellogg, his younger brother Will Keith Kellogg, and other family members. There is considerable disagreement over who was involved in the discovery and the role that they played. It is generally agreed that upon being called out one night, John Kellogg left a batch of wheat berry dough behind. Rather than throwing it out the following day, he sent it through the rollers and was surprised to obtain delicate flakes, which could then be baked. W.K. Kellogg persuaded his brother to serve the food in a flake form. Soon the flaked wheat was being packaged to meet hundreds of guest mail order requests after they left the sanitarium. However, Dr. John Harvey forbade his brother Will from distributing cereal beyond his consumers. As a result, the brothers fell out, and W.K. launched the Battle Creek Toasted Corn Flake Company on February 19, 1906. On July 4, 1907, a fire destroyed the main factory building. W.K. Kellogg had the new plant in full operation six months after the fire, convincing his brother to relinquish rights to the product. Will's company produced and marketed the hugely successful Kellogg's Toasted Corn Flakes and was renamed the Kellogg Toasted Corn Flake Company in 1909, taking on the current name of the Kellogg Company in 1922. By 1909, Will's company produced 120,000 cases of corn flakes daily. John, who resented his brother's success, filed suit against Will's company in 1906 for the right to use the family name. The resulting legal battle, which included a trial that lasted an entire month, minus one in December 1920 when the Michigan Supreme Court ruled in Will's favor. In 1931, the Kellogg Company announced that most of its factories would shift towards 30-hour work weeks from the usual 40. W.K. Kellogg stated that he did this so that an additional shift of workers would be employed to support people through the Depression era. This practice remained until World War II and continued briefly after the war. Although some departments and factories remained locked into 30-hour work weeks until 1980. In 1964, Kellogg's introduced its first non-cereal product, a pastry, which can be heated in a toaster called Pop-Tarts. From 1969 to 1970, 
the slogan Kellogg's puts more into your day was used on Sunday morning TV shows. From 1969 to 1977, Kellogg's acquired various small businesses, including Salada Tea, Fern International, Mrs. Smith's Pies, Ega, and Pure Packed Foods. However, it was later criticized for not diversifying further like General Mills and Quaker Oats were. After underspending its competition in marketing and product development, Kellogg's U.S. market share hit a low of 36.7% in 1983. A prominent Wall Street analyst called it a fine company that's past its prime and the cereal market was being regarded as mature. Such comments stimulated Kellogg chairman William E. Lamoth to improve, which primarily involved approaching the demographic of 80 million baby boomers rather than marketing children-oriented cereals. In emphasizing cereals' convenience and nutritional value, Kellogg's helps persuade you. S. Consumers aged 25 to 49 to eat 26% more cereal than people of that age ate five years prior. The U.S. ready-to-eat cereal market worth $3.7 billion at retail in 1983, totaled $5.4 billion by 1988 and had expanded three times as fast as the average grocery category. Kellogg's also introduced new products, including Crispix, Raisin Squares, and Nutri-Grain Biscuits, and reached out internationally with Just Right aimed at Australians and Genmai Flakes for Japan. During this time, the company maintained success over its top competitors, General Mills, which largely marketed children's cereals, and Post, which had difficulty in the adult cereal market. In 2001, Kellogg's acquired the Keebler Company for $3.87 billion. Over the years, it has also gone on to acquire Morningstar Farms and Kashi Divisions, or subsidiaries. Kellogg's also owns the Bare Naked, Natural Touch, Cheese It, Murray, Austin Cookies and Crackers. Famous Amos, Gardenberger acquired 2007, and Plantation Brands. Presently, Kellogg's is a member of the World Cocoa Foundation. In 2012, Kellogg's became the world's second largest snack food company after PepsiCo. By acquiring the Potato Crisps brand Pringles from Procter and & Gamble for $2.7 billion in a cash deal. In 2017, Kellogg's acquired Chicago-based food company Rixbar for $654 million. Earlier that year, Kellogg's also opened new corporate office space in Chicago's Merchandise Mart for its global growth and IT departments. In the UK, Kellogg's also released the W. K. Kellogg brand of organic, vegan and plant-based cereals such as granolas, organic whole grain wheat, and super grains with no added sugars. In 2018, Kellogg's decided to cease their operations in Venezuela due to the economic crisis the country is facing. Their factories were taken by the Venezuelan state under the Nicolas Maduro administration. In mid-2019, Venezuelan Kellogg's cereal boxes began portraying the Venezuelan flag and a motto from Maduro. Together, everything is possible Spanish. Junto's Todo is possible, alongside Kellogg's logo and mascots were sold all over the country. Kellogg's considers it as an illicit use, and the company stated they would take legal action. On April 1, 2019, it was announced that Kellogg's was selling Famous Amos, Murray's, Keebler, Mother's, and Little Brownie Baker's one. Of the producers of the cookies for the Girl Scouts of the USA to Ferrero Spa for $1.4 billion. On July 29, 2019, that sale was completed. Kellogg's kept the Keebler Cracker line and replaced the Keebler name on their crackers with the Kellogg's name. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and also click the notification button for the next video.